Thank you very much, Michael Kenya. Now, remember earlier on in the beginning of the show, we had introduced uh, some of the guests who are joining us. And uh, let's just remind ourselves of who they are. We are joined by two uh, Polish ladies uh, who are here just to give us their own sentiments as far as the World Cup is concerned. Their game is later this evening, uh, of course, against Senegal. And then we also have a Japanese international, Masashi Hasegawa. Uh, he'll also be giving us his sentiments about the game that is coming up, the first game actually for the day. Uh, of course, that is Japan. will be playing in just about an hour or so. Uh, Masashi Hasegawa, mm. as they say in your country, Yokoso. Welcome <laughs> to the World Cup ban. Uh, Agat, <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, Agata Radomska and uh, Gosia Rabakon, as they say in, in Polish, uh, Vitamin. I hope I've pronounced it correctly. Yes, it well, is fantastic. Thank you very much. Mm. I think I'll begin with you, uh, uh, Masashi. Mm. As okay. far as Japan is concerned, uh, they've been in the World Cup for almost, I think, all the past several editions. Mm. Uh, their opening game they're playing this afternoon. Do you feel that, uh, how, how important is a victory in, in the opening game for the Blue Samurai? Okay, interestingly, uh, we don't not uh, we don't focus on only victory. Of course, uh, we just uh, doro or lose. But the problem is the contents of the game. In other words, the percentage if you lost the first game, yes. the percentage only maybe less than twenty percent they can uh, they can win in the group league. In other words, of course, the Colombia is a very strong country. So first, we have to be defensive. Yes, we don't. Uh, we have to lock the, our goal. That is the most important thing in this game. How difficult is that? Because you have somebody like Radamel Falcao from <laughs> Colombia. <laughs> That's right. I, you know, uh, uh, apparently James Rodriguez also the world top uh, offensive player. I think. Yes. But the interestingly also, there is uh, Hasebe. Uh, he belonged to Bundesliga. Yes. Also at the top, the uh, title match of the German German uh, football cup. Yes. They defeated to Bayern Munich in the final. Mm. So, if uh, this uh, system is um, suitable for a Colombian team, yeah, there is a possibility to defeat them. Okay. Yes. Let me give you some statistics. Uh, the Blue Samurai, Japan, mm. has never beaten a South American side at the World Cup. Mm. The most recent meeting between uh, Colombia and Japan mm. was in 2014. Yeah, true. Your team lost 4-1. That's right, yes. So that is very difficult. <laughs> so we have, to, but you know, yes, we listened, yes, we lectured from a Colombian team. So probably we changed the game, yes, comparing to the last time. That is our theme. Mm -hmm. Looking at the team, the composition of the team, uh, what kind of role do you think uh, a player like Keisuke Honda will play for uh, mm. Japan? There is a controversial discussion inside of Japan. Yes, I mean that recently his performance is uh, downsiding. And also, as a why, why, why do you think that is happening? Why is his performance going down? Probably, uh, I don't know the reason, but apparently, the, uh, how can I say, the physical rebel is uh, very, very uh, worse now. Mm -hmm. So, and as a young player is uprising, so probably so the Japanese media focused as a Japanese uh, new star uh, will, uh, will appear in the next game. Okay, looking at the team list, I can see here that uh, uh, Shinji Okazaki uh, might not be playing today. Do you think uh, the replacements such as Yoshinori Muto, mm -hmm. uh, Yuya Osako, do you think they can, they, they can be the, the key uh, ingredient to ensure Blue Samurai can actually slay Colombia? Mm, in this time, probably the key player will be Takashi Inui. Yes, mm -hmm. he is in the Spain League now. Yes. He's a La Liga. Plays for Real Batiste. That's right. Yes. And also uh, Shibazaki, yes, the bottom of mid uh, midfielder. Yes. Also, the interesting point is they got a score from Barcelona and Real Madrid. Mm -hmm. mm. And so in the big match, they are very, very strong against the big or nice rivals. Mm -hmm. mm. So probably they will be on the game. Also, they will show the creativeness and the beautiful goal. I, I, I expect them. Okay. Let's go back to now the other games that have happened and also the atmosphere. Japan, of course, uh, were involved in hosting the tournament in 2002. How, what do you think uh, Russia needs to do? As, because as much as they the tournament is underway, the games are very exciting. Mm. There's not that much uh, hype as it was in the previous editions, as it was in Brazil mm. uh, in 2014, as it was in South Africa in 2010, mm. as, as it was in Germany in 2006. Yes. What do you think uh, needs to be done? You, were you in Japan in 2002 during that time for the World Cup? In the time of 2002, yes, the home advantage is very, very strong. And the problem is that is a very unique uh, of Japanese atmosphere, also environment. So apparently some people, oh, their stamina is not so much uh, comparing to in their countries. Yes. And also as a 2010, yes, before the uh, 2010, the team condition was the worst. 
and also so many people and so many uh, so many media person focused Japan lost the game, but the final uh, results we uh, we survive in that group three. Mm -hmm. mm. So probably in this time, yes, I ho I expect the same thing happen. Okay. Yes. Technology is something that has been introduced in this year's World Cup, uh, the video assisted referee, VAR system. Yes. Uh, that's the question we're asking the viewers who are watching our show. Do you think VAR has worked positively or mm. negatively? Uh, only good enough, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> because, you know, football is a human being sports, I think, uh, not okay. a technology sport. Sometimes it depends if it helps someone or other person, but only God knows, and just I wish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Arigato. Arigato, thanks. <laughs> now, uh, let's move on to the Polish fans and the Polish nationals. First of all, thank you for joining us this afternoon. Um, Poland hosted a big sporting event uh, in 2012, the Euro. Uh, and I know it's about a three hours flight from Poland uh, to Russia. How, how, what, how, how does it feel? When, how, how is the atmosphere? I know one of you was there in 2012. How does it feel? Uh, I was fortunate enough to, to be in Poland uh, during that time and the atmosphere was incredible. Um, I think Poland uh, has done so well in hosting um, all, the, all the different nations. Uh, they've done, even if you weren't able to actually join the game itself, they've done a lot of fan zones. Mm -hmm. So all over the Warsaw, you had little fan zones uh, with, with massive screens and uh, it was just amazing. So. Um, to be honest with you, I think Russia, <laughs> I'm not so sure if they actually uh, have done it uh, in the way that they could have <laughs> compared to Poland. Uh, I mean, I remember the, the, the Irish fans just, you know, going on the streets and just singing yes. with Irish uh, flags. <laughs> If you want, you can go on YouTube. You can. It's a very famous video. I believe video. you. I believe I know and Irish fans. And not even okay. Irish uh. fans. I mean, uh. <laughs> you know, English fans, uh, the fans from all over the world. So it was. It was just amazing. Yeah. Okay. Kostya, looking at the team composition, Poland is one of the top teams uh, in Europe. Uh, looking at some of the, the composition of their players, uh, a player like their captain, he always leads by example. Robert Lewandowski. Yes. You think there's too much pressure on him to help Poland? Uh, no. have an opening victory against Senegal? No, I don't think there is a pressure. I mean, that's his job, yeah, to win, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Basically, yeah, there is a pressure, but mm -hmm. we are confident about his skills. Mm -hmm. Looking at the other players as well, uh, you have uh, players like, uh, let me just get the pronunciation correctly, Kamil Glik. Glik, Kamil yeah. Glik I Very good. There is a potential there, you know. You could, you could definitely <laughs> Learn Polish. <laughs> Definitely, that's something. That's another language I'd love to learn. Uh, but l looking at the composition of the team, well, there's this defender, but there's also somebody most Kenyans would know. Woshe, I hope I get it right. Woshe Szczesny. Wojciech Szczesny. Wo Wo <laughs> it's very close. It. <laughs> Wojciech Szczesny. Yes, yes. How, how, what role will these experienced players, some of them who have, comp have been in the World Cup before, how important do you think they will, the role they will play for the team? Yeah, I think they will play very well. I mean, we are... I think so. I mean, definitely within the years we have improved. So and yeah, we've got a really good trainer now. So yeah, we are very positive. Mm -hmm. I would like you guys to win some of the games, you know, the one of the African countries. But so you're supporting not... Senegal? No, 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 not no, not 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 I think my dad would be closing the door very quickly if I'd be arriving to Poland. So. Okay. No, 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 no. But I hope you win some of the games. Yeah. Yeah. It's important you've mentioned that uh, definitely for African teams, they have struggled. We hope for the continent that uh, Poland, uh, against Poland, the Senegal might actually dominate. But some of these big teams have not been performing as by expectation. You watched the game for Germany and Mexico. Why are you surprised by that loss? Well, Germany had one of the strongest teams, didn't they? I mean, it's, it was just surprising. I mean, I never heard Mexico winning Mexico, uh, yeah. a major <laughs> tournament. So, yeah, it, it was, I, I was very surprised, definitely. Okay. What would you tell somebody about the Polish culture? Uh, you hosted the game in 2000. You hosted a big football event in 2012. Our colleagues are in Russia. Uh, if she, my, my colleague is actually going to watch the game between Poland and Senegal, when she approaches a, a Polish national, what would she expect? I know first she'll say Dzidombre. Hello. What else should, you, should she do? Uh, it depends if she's going to support the Polish team. I yes. heard not, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I think that some song would be good to know. Yeah, right? I'm sure if she would be supporting Poland, she would okay. probably have a shot of vodka with them. Yes. 
<laughs> but wouldn't you be too uh, excited to watch the game? You might even black out as the game proceeds. Uh, uh, actually, we're expecting like a lot of a lot of Polish fans in Russia because of the proximity of yes. Moscow from Poland. So, <laughs> and I feel that our football fans are really cheerful. I mean, yeah. they they like to show their support. Okay. They do, and okay. they really don't mind spending the money to actually go there and support Poland in another country, which okay. I think is great. So yeah. what usually happens? Like, for example, you said it's three hours. Uh, is it flight? Uh, how will most, most of the fans, Polish fans, how they uh, marshal their, their numbers? Well, I'm, I'm not too sure how many will actually show up, but um, it's, it's only three hours by flight. You can also take, uh, take the ferry, um, you can drive as well. So it's, it's, it's definitely, I think we're expecting some high numbers tonight. Mm -hmm.